What's going on guys, Janus here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on Iseria, one of the most versatile and amazing top tier unit in the entire Epic 7 content which I'm gonna discuss to you in this video today guys because like she really deserves this second remake yes i did actually make a simple guide on her a long way back but i think she really deserves to be uh you know like uh how to say this shout it out a next time okay so let's start with the first skill which is so amazing as it provides a very good chance to decrease the defense of the opponents and if you use the soul burn effect it can go up to 100 effect chance so that is pretty amazing isn't it and then like the damage will be further boosted up and it can go up to 3.55 times her attack stats for just 10 soul consumption and 3.55 times attack stat that is even higher than that of the ultimate skill yes if you use the consumption soul uh, right over here on the fast skill it will actually deal more damage damage than compared to her ultimate skill so there you go guys how good is the fast skill okay and defense break is always good guys because like it really opens your door to a maximum damage output okay always try to inflict that one especially for the boss hunts and this will really make your life way much easier and fun and interesting okay so now let's move on to the second skill it's known as the oath keeper okay it just looks like a super recharge move and that's what it really is it actually resets the cooldown of a targeted ally to max already okay so that's pretty amazing especially this is really good especially for like some of the particular hero units like let's say tamarin okay who really requires a lot of uh, cooldown turns before she can use her ultimate skill and she cannot cost it right away so in that kind of case Icera can actually be a really good partner with Tamarin or let's say with Luna okay Luna after she uses her ultimate skill it has nearly about like 10 turns of cooldown time right and to get your Luna back onto her feet again both keeper can actually make an amazing comeback right and guess what guys after executing this oath keeper she gets an extra turn but the bad thing about the oath keeper is like she cannot cost it on herself now that is a big problem okay so you know like uh, like like Ah, that's the thing guys now let's move on to the ultimate skill known as the full bloom okay so this is how it really looks like which is pretty majestic guys she makes a giant sword appear out of nowhere from the sky and it hits a single target yes it's a single uh, target nuking attack which has a skill modifier of about like 3.367 times her attack skill and guess what guys it's not meant for like huge damage output but it's actually meant for a lot of utilities right over there whenever it's casted over a certain target unit opponent what's gonna do it will dispel all the buffs right away now, how cool is that okay i mean like there might be a very irritating buff on your opponent like let's say defense up attack up those kind of thing right and that can actually be a pretty 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 irritating stuff against you and thing is that like after that's done c will 100 percent decrease the defense wow that's good unless you know like there are some resistance with your opposing elements that could be actually a problem but you know like if you like you know like uh, make it like a normal thing that would be 100 percent decrease defense and 100 percent unable to be bought for two turns amazing guys i mean like seas of earth element that's the only drawback with her guys i mean like if she could have been an ice element damn oh damn or let's say at least fire element she could have been one of the perfect perfect weaver team uh must have unit guys i mean like she has all this kind of stuff that is gonna be so amazing against Weaver because like you have to make that Weaver unable to be buffed because if he's buffed I think he gets an extra turn decreasing defense will really allow you to deal massive damage against him and dispelling all buffs is always good against the boss on skies okay so this uh, second I mean like this ultimate skill really makes a big and huge difference against the boss battles and especially if you are trying to fight against like any content in the game even PvP guys this actually makes a sort of like easy cake for you guys okay so those are the things that actually makes her so amazing okay if you are looking into like stats guys I mean like her stats are pretty amazing especially the speed and HP which are pretty uh, over the average but her defense is pretty average guys and her attack is uh, just a little bit higher than average but at speed and at speed really commendable guys and she has a lot of utilities these are the things i mean like you know her skill sets or, or skill mechanisms or a, a skill tandem uh, you know like it really do match and complement with each other so she's pretty good in 
world okay i mean like abyss arena and guild wars guys when it comes to like boss hunt and raid she is a goddess okay she's totally totally amazing she's one of the really amazing unit in the entire game and if you have her you will really 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 say that like oh my god i really did find a goddess okay so that's how it goes on guys that's how it goes on C is pretty amazing. So when it comes to equipment, I would really love to recommend you guys, especially as a beginner. Uh, C is more of a support unit rather than a damage dealing unit. Yes, you can also build her up as a damage dealing unit, but basically I would really love to recommend you guys to build a support type of unit. If you want to build in, build her in that way, speed set, okay, and the uh, hit set will be the best uh, suit for your Iceria because she really needs a lot of effectiveness, okay, which will really help your Iceria to be a really good support as she will be able to uh, land those debuffs pretty easily. And thing is that like the speed set will really allow her to be very fast as well. If you can be really fast Iceria in the entire game, that will really allow you to uh, in like have a very upper hand on PvP as well as in PvE battles, okay? So please move on that one. But if you are really trying to build her as a your, you know, like let's say a single target nuker, then you can do that as well. But in order to do that, you really have to give a proper gear set, which I would say attack set and the crit set, okay? So attack set and crit set. But let's start with what sort of like like prime stats and sub stats you really need to focus on ice area so yes if you are really trying to build her as a support unit okay uh, her boots obviously needs to have like speed and her ring needs to have effectiveness percentage so that she has more effectiveness and her necklace should have HP percentage boost or let's say health percentage boost which will really allow her to have more endurance and vitality in the battle okay so these are the basic setup and if you are trying to look into her like you know like substats just go with the effectiveness percentage boost health percentage boost speed boost and defense percentage boost those are the things that will really help your Assyria to be a really good support but if you are really trying to focus her to be a you know like to your main dps uh, DPS or let's say single target nuker then on the boots you need to go with the attack percentage boost okay and on the ring as well you need to go with the attack percentage boost and when it comes to the necklace you have to go with the critical hit damage boost okay uh, provided that you have a lot of critical hit chance on your sub stats or let's say additional stats okay so those are the thing and for the sub stats you need to build, build a, a sort of like a, like you know like a, you have to uh focus on these basic stats which is attack percentage boost speed boost critical hit chance boost and critical damage boost if you have these four sub stats you can consider your gear to be a perfect gear so these are the gears that i would really love to recommend you guys because these are the gears that will really make your ice area either a really good dps unit or let's say a very good support unit but as a recommendation guys i would really recommend you guys to build her as a support unit which will really help you guys to have a very good support in your team that will be viable in almost every content in the game including PvP contents guys, boss hunts, okay, abyss, um, guild wars, arena, uh, damn, <laughs> she's really good everywhere, okay, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And you might actually ask like what sort of artifact can we actually give to this wonderful, wonderful and versatile unit, okay? So for in case of artifact as C is a ranger class, okay? I would say you can go with the Sword of Judgment as well. This is a really good artifact, especially for the Rangers. That will have a 20% chance to attack again with the basic skill. As you could see that her basic skill has that uh, defense break debuff inflicting capability, okay? So that is pretty great, isn't it, okay? So that's pretty good guys. So I would really love to recommend you guys the Sword of Judgment as well because there is a really good utility on her fast scale. And Song of Stars could actually be pretty good as well as it has a 100% chance for an enemy to become targeted for two runs after a single attack. So because like if there is a target over a single unit what's gonna happen is that like that unit is gonna take 15% more increased damage as well as uh, his evasion will be dropped down by 15% as well. So, you know, like she is gonna be a really good support. I mean, like, this is actually an additional thing that will allow her to become a really good support as well. So, as a support, that is also pretty good. So, those are the main uh, artifacts that I would really love 
to you know uh, recommend you guys okay so i think this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video